Hi and welcome to this video. Easter is coming soon, so let's take a look at some Easter eggs and hidden improvements in the recent Studio One 6.1 update. If you don't know the find command function in Studio One yet, you might want to take a look at another video of mine where I give a little introduction on this version 6 feature. Find command is this little overlay that lets you search for Studio One commands and Studio One macros. Why is this helpful? First of all, there are Studio One commands that aren't in any of the menus. For example, the play from loop start command, which is a transport command, but it's not in the transport menu. So in earlier Studio One versions before version 6, the only way to use one of these hidden commands was to create a keyboard shortcut for it and start the command by pressing a key on your keyboard. Or another option was to create a button on the macro toolbar and assign the command to this button. But now this has become much easier. You can now just open the find command overlay either by going into the help menu and choose find command. Or of course you can open it as well with the keyboard shortcut that is displayed here on the right side of the menu. On your computer this might be something like Ctrl K or Command plus K. And then I can just enter play from and Studio One already suggests us the play from loop start command. And I only need to press enter to start it. Another reason why this is helpful is that you sometimes don't know exactly where to find a certain command in the menu or you just can't remember its shortcut. For example, the zoom to loop command, I know that it's probably in the view menu and oh, okay, it's here inside of the zoom submenu and the shortcut is shift plus L, but I just can't remember it. That's no problem because I just need to press my key to open the find command overlay, type zoom to loop and press enter. So let me finally get to the new improvements in version 6.1. Let's say you want to repeat your last action, for example play from loop start. This has become very easy as well. Maybe you've already seen that once I open the find command overlay, the last executed command is already shown here even before I start typing. So if we want to run this command again, I just need to press enter. And I think that's really useful if there's a command I don't have a keyboard shortcut assigned to, but I still need this command a number of times in a row. Another improvement is that the search has become much smarter than before. With the new update, your last used commands are preferred in the search. So let's say I often need the fade into cursor command. And when I enter fade, then there are several commands that contain fade. So I need to scroll with my arrow keys to find the one I was looking for. But if I select fade into cursor, and then look for another command, like for example, a plugin manager. And then I again enter fade. Then the first item I see is fade into cursor because Studio One remembers that we have used this command before. So this might be quite handy to access the commands that you use regularly. And here's one more improvement in the search. When you're searching for a command, it's enough to type the few first letters of the words. For example, if I want to disable the current track, then I can just type dis and tr because Studio One looks at each word, so you need to type much less to find the command you want. And there are a few more small improvements in the overall search. For example, numbers are now found more reliably. So let's say you are editing notes and you like to change the note length, then you can just enter 1 16th to find the note length 1 16th macro to set all your selected notes to a duration of 1 16th note. I hope you like this new feature we came up with in version 6 and the new improvements in version 6.1. Let me know in the comments and as always please hit the like button and if you want to see more workflow tips and hidden features in Studio One, please subscribe to my channel 
I really appreciate it. Now, thanks for watching and see you again in the next video.